Hi everybody, today we are going to study sigma function. In this, if f is a function, here we define function from real to real numbers, set of real number to real number and sigma of x or f of x can be defined as 1 for x greater than 0, 0 for x is equal to 0 and minus 1 for x less than 0, which means that for any value of x greater than 0, it will be always remain 1. For x is equal to 0, it will be 0 and for x less than 0, it will be minus 1. That is, if we try, if we draw, a find the values of f of x related to x or we make a table of this function. So, for minus 3, it is x less than 0, it will be minus 1. So for x 2.8, it is again less than, so it will be minus 1. For minus 2, it is minus 1. For minus 2, uh, 1.8, it is minus 1. Minus 1 1.5, it is again minus 1. For minus 1, it is minus 1. For minus 0 0.5, it is minus 1. Because all these values are less than 1. For 0, it is 0. Now, for greater values, for x 0 0.5, it is 1. For 1, it is 1. For 2.5 it is 1, for 3.5 value of 3.5 is again 1 and so on, okay. So here we get values related for negative it is minus 1 and for positive part is plus 1, okay. Now if we plot this graph we get of graphs like this it will be y axis here it is x axis now the values now for 0 it is 0 so it is here point okay for 0 0 for 1 or for 0 0.1 it is 1 so it will not need lie on y axis okay here it is 1 and here it is minus 1 okay for 1 it is 0 0.1 it is 1 for 0 it is 0 so he it will be start nearer to y axis for 0 0.5 it is 1 for 0 0.6 it is 1 for 0 0.7 it is 1 for 1 it is 1 for 2 it is 1 so the graph will be if we draw a line from this point it will be look like okay that will be y is equal to 1 okay now for here it will not be present so it we uh, draw a 0 on this point because it will be not contained in this graph okay uh, now for similarly for 0 it is not minus 1 so here it will we draw a uh, round point so for 0 0.1 its value is minus 1 for 0 0.2 it is minus 1 for minus 0 0.3 it is minus 1 so for 1 it is minus 1 for 2 it is minus 1 for 3 it is minus 1 if we draw a line through this so it will be for y is equal to minus 1 so here it will not intersect the y-axis and here also it will not intersect but it start nearer through y-axis okay so the graph related to f of x is equal to mod x upon x or for f of x is equal to 1 x greater than 0 for 0 x is equal to 0 minus 1 x less than 0 will be look like or if we consider this values also for f of x is equal to if we consider x is equal to positive value x is equal to 5 we can get f of uh, 5 is equal to uh, my mod of 5 upon 5 which is again 1 if we consider negative f of minus 5 is equal to negative value minus 5 upon minus 5 mod of minus 5 upon minus 5 which is equal to 5 upon minus 5 is equal to minus 1 which means that for positive value it will be value 1 for negative value it is minus 1 here and for x is equal to 0 value is defined it is 0 it is not necessary to put the values in uh, this function mod x upon x okay so now here domain of f domain of f will be belongs to here for any value of x for here it is considered 0 for x greater than 0 x less than 0 we get some value of f of x so here domain of f will be r now 
here range of f range of f will be now for if we draw a arrow diagram related to this signum function for uh, any negative value if you consider minus 0.1 or minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 if you consider minus 1 0 1 2 okay so for negative value its value for negative x less than 0 it is minus 1 for 0 it is 0 and for positive value it is 1 so its arrow diagram will be denoted like this for minus 4 it is minus 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 minus 3 it is minus 1 minus 1 it is again minus 1 for 0 its image is 0 for 1 its image is 1 for 2 its image is 2 and so on okay so for any value of r we are getting only three values minus 1 0 and 1 so our range of f will be a set minus 1 0 and 1 okay and domain for any value here if you consider point value we have written here minus 1.5 it is minus 1 for minus 2.8 it is minus 1 okay as we define a function so we get a range of function is minus 1 0 1 okay